Hi, Mystery Writers. I'm going to Mystery Writers Studio. And today I want to talk to the folks who feel like they're not getting any progress on, on their story. And you're not alone. It's like 97% of novels that get started don't get finished. That's an astounding statistic. So today I wanted to talk about the ways that you can get yourself into that 3%. Um, it's, it's really important and it's all about, it's all about process. Um, so the first thing is that uh, a story idea is not a novel. So uh, you you want to take the process and search for uh, the ways that you can implement getting that story idea to into something that closely resembles a novel and and it's not that hard it's a process it just takes a lot of steps so let's start with the story idea it is you can condense that story idea down into uh, what I call a little summary and that summary is actually even though it's short it's it's your guideline for for getting your story written because everything starts from that so frame your story in a sentence like this in a setting a protagonist has a problem caused by an antagonist and faces conflict as they try to achieve their goal. So, once you have your story idea, you want to condense that down and identify each of those elements in getting started. So, where does your story take place? I should say where and when, especially if you're like me. If you're writing historical uh, novels, you need to get yourself set in the time as well as the place. All right, and then your protagonist. And what's your protagonist's role? Before you give them a name, what is it that they do? And then what is the problem? And for us, it's... Uh, it's finding the killer in a mystery and then the antagonist is the person who actually did the killing and the conflict for us in mysteries is finding out who actually who actually committed the murder so once you get all of that set up, you can do it in like 25 to 30 words. Um, you leave out character names, subplots, or any other details. You just want the basic, basic facts of the story. And once you formulate that base sentence, um, you can go on and build on that. Um, you want to have the beginning, which is like an exposition. What is the status quo at the start of the story? What is your protagonist doing? What's their daily world? This is going to help you establish the setting. Um, and then the first plot point is, is a major event that kicks off the story. And for a mystery, it's usually it's usually the discovery of the murder um, and then there's the midpoint. You want to have these kind of outlined um, 
points because you're going to be working from one point to the other. So you start with the exposition, what's going on now when the story starts, and then the thing that triggers the story, which in our case is the discovery of the murder. And then the midpoint in the story is where things take a turn for the worse, and usually your sleuth has to rethink everything. And the second plot point is where your sleuth hits rock bottom. Everything that they've done has bring is bringing no results. And then, of course, there's the climax and denouement. And this is revealing the killer and then how the story ends. So if you use this formula, uh, it's worth putting time into getting the summary just right because you can always come back and change it. But having these plot signposts, I call them signposts, in place will help guide you through the next few steps. Um, and getting that summary and getting those major plot points uh, helps you uh, create a story out of a story idea. So create a place to store all your story elements. Um, you'll be writing notes about future scenes and collecting research and doing all the things that do, you do to gather information about your story. You just have them in one place. It doesn't matter what you use. There's many online vehicles now like Scrivener. Uh, some writers use a three ring binder because they handwrite everything at the beginning. It's um, uh, just whatever you use. Some people just use Word or Google Docs and set up folders there to keep everything together. The key is to keep everything pertaining to your story in one place um, because it, when you're writing, you're going to come back to them, and and I think that the most important part is organizing wherever you keep them, the binder, software, wherever you keep them, is to make your notes easy to find. Because when you're writing, you may want to go back and double check something, and you want to have an easy way to access how you double check. Mm -hmm. um, uh, because you're gonna, if you do all this work at the beginning, you're gonna save time later as you create your story. So make sure you give your story a world, know where everything is, bring that setting alive in your story. You need to know the culture, the politics, the climate, um, uh, everything, because, because you may be bringing those elements into your story and as we've talked about before you need that big picture because you pull out the details as you're writing your scenes uh, and then you want to get to know your characters and um, you want to know each character's story role it's so important that'll help you from creating too many characters and each character will be distinct and then you create that storyline and we have the skeleton for it and every writer is different um, but many writers find it helpful to sketch out the big moments in the story so you want the inciting incident the thing that kicks your protagonist into the story and you want that first plot point where they make a commitment and in our case with a detective they're making a commitment to solving the crime and a pinch point where things get a little difficult and the midpoint where everything falls apart and they essentially have to start over and then the third pinch point which is the character is usually in deep deep trouble and it feels like nothing is ever going to be resolved and then the climax. So if you get those major points kind of fixed in your head and written down, of course, um, then as you're writing, you're not writing to get to the end. You're writing to get to that next moment in the story. 
And I, I think that helps a lot, that kind of thinking. You're not writing to get to the end, but getting to that next major point in the story. That'll help you guide your scene. So you start at the beginning with your exposition, and then you're writing to get to the inciting incident. And then once that inciting incident, the discovery of the murder is in place, then you're writing to get to that first plot point where your detective um, is committed to solving that particular crime and then um, the first pinch point where obstructions occur and conflict and then from the pinch point to the midpoint etc that way you won't be rushing to the end which is um, one of the big holdbacks for a lot of beginning writers. They they want to get to the end and they kind of skip thinking about all those story points along the way that keep readers engaged and get them finally to the end. And of course, you want to finish that story, right? That's what it's all about. You want to get to that 3% of people and stories that are completed so you need to set up a writing rhythm and um, the preparatory steps uh, getting everything organized and getting the kind of major plot points set and knowing your characters all those things uh, help you create a writing rhythm and for every person that's different uh, uh, a good goal of course is to write every day but for some people that's with um, other things happening in their life like work and family um, that can be too much but you so you need to adjust your writing rhythm to your personal life so, um, but the key is to write and to keep up that rhythm and to write and this is your commitment to writing the whole novel um, so let's look at some of the major challenges of finishing so you can get to that 3%, okay? <laughs> uh, with all the preparation and writing time, um, it's that structure that keeps you going because things can go wrong in your story. Characters do strange things. Uh, to finish your novel, you need to meet the challenges. So, mindset is absolutely essential to get past these challenges. And knowing what to do when problems arise uh, is all about using practical steps to keep writing. Um, keep writing. Um, I love this quote from uh, novelist Richard Bach. He says, a professional writer is an amateur who didn't quit. So there you go. That simple. Um, so here are some things that um, beginning writers, uh, here are some things that challenge beginning writers. Uh, one is lack of practice. Uh, you, you need to work out what your schedule is and stick to it. Because that's the practice. The more you write, the better you get. It's just like uh, play, uh, playing a sport or a musical instrument. The more you practice, the better you get. And as you write, your writing uh, speed increases and so does your flow. And you, so you start to get more written in your daily time slot. Okay, perfectionism. Whoa, this is a biggie. Do not worry about being perfect. The first draft is a rough draft. So save all the editing and the perfect sentences for later. Just get that story written. Get it from one plot point to the next plot point to the next plot point to the end. Um, and then another is a lack of plan. That's why all the things I said... Um, earlier really help getting those plot points in your head um, it's doing doing background research creating characters 
outline a story feels like activities that keep you from writing but it's just the opposite when you get those things in place when you're ready to write you know what you're doing and you know what you're doing uh, and where you are going and you know what characters are involved and what the big obstacles are so another thing that keeps people from finishing that novel I know this sounds counterintuitive but it's true it's rushing toward the end um, you need to hit all those plot points along the way and if you don't work them out your story is going to feel rushed and your reader is going to going to not get as fully engaged so you want to take the time to flesh out your story hit all those major plot points um, get your characters create an incident that pushes your protagonist into a problem and you're going to do that more than once and you're going to spend time developing the problem and as I mentioned earlier if you think about writing from one plot point to the next plot point that will slow your thinking down enough so your story doesn't try to rush toward the end okay and another thing is lack of feedback you do need feedback and Writing is a lonely process. Uh, feedback from others help you smooth out your work. Um, writers join writers group. I highly recommend that. Uh, you need to be circumspect about what group you join uh, because you want people who are simpatico, people who understand the concept of your genre. Uh, because if you're in a group of, say, uh, literary novelists, they're not going to understand uh, the genre of mystery as well. So uh, find a group that's simpatico. I actually found a group. It was um, it was two science fiction writers and an urban fantasy writer. And myself it was a small group, but but the size gave us time to explore each other's stories. But what we had in common was creating that story world and making our characters function within the story world. So uh, look for a place where you can get feedback. Um, and you want that feedback from other writers, I should say. Uh, your mom or family member may or may not be helpful but they may not be honest and you really want honest feedback about what works in your story and what doesn't work so every writer has their own personal challenges so recognize your challenges and practice ways to work through the challenges to help you finish all right i hope that helps because i want everyone in this group to succeed i want them to be part of that three percent and if you have any other questions please ask them because i'm here to help you get to be that three percent that finish your novel all right thank you oh one thing uh next week i'm going to be uh, about an hour early i have my annual um I exam and scheduled and and so we'll be meeting a, a little an hour earlier next week just so I can get to that um, medical appointment all right thanks so much keep writing and don't forget to ask me questions <laughs>